Real quick before this video starts, I started a clan. It's called Blogs. Uh, link in the description. Uh, please join it. I need members. Thanks. Hello. So, quick video today. We're going over, uh, like, why I finally ditched Mage, but it's for Savant, which is kind of weird. But, uh, before I even get into this, please subscribe. It really helps me out and it means a lot to me. And, like, it, you can always change your mind, but if you enjoy this video, please subscribe. And yeah, with this said, enjoy me just yapping for hopefully a short amount of time. I'm aiming for like five minute yap session. But with that said, um, so starting off with something like really, really, really needed to be said is I do not think I would still be playing Arcane Odyssey if I was a mage still. Like, if this slot was still a mage, I don't think I would have been playing. So, uh, first of all, before I even mention um, what I did as a savant, I'll mention what I did with this file before savant. So, I needed to get a emergency stat reset potion sent to me because I was curious if I could run paladin with, like, 150 vital. Yeah. Yeah, that didn't work out well. Uh, the only thing that made it slightly usable was running AP, and that certainly was not worth it. Um, running AP was a really bad idea, I can't even lie. Um, it, it helped, yes, but still, Acid Savant was the- I mean, Acid Paladin was so shit. I mean, it probably was usable, but like, dude, what the fuck? I mean, it was probably usable. But, truthfully, if I had to say anything about it, I probably wouldn't use it. But, it, it's alright. I also did not have a proper build for it. Like I was not ready in any way whatsoever. So, that's another reason why I just really needed to find something to do. So, let's talk about the stats. So, the normal set I used to run to deal with anything is this, uh, 220 attack speed, but I had to do this to actually be able to not get hit by mages for upwards of a lot of fucking damage. Like, I realize that doesn't explain it enough while editing this video, so just real quick, let me say. Um, during my end lag, I could get it hit by a double drill and a beam that could add up to like 800 damage. So, yeah, I, I would get hit for so much goddamn damage just for using attack. And, and real quick, this is double blast. Uh, this, that's double blast, and you can't really tell. Um, this is 20 blast. Like, here's 20 blast. Like, about a second to cast. And the fact that that is how fast I had to make it is insane. But yeah, so uh, I would have not been playing Arcane Odyssey if I was still a mage because of how bored I got. And so let's talk about my Savant stats. So obviously I showed you my old build. I showed you my new build. This thing, God, it's amazing. But it's also like, it's scarily quick. Like, it pretty much just feels like the old attack speed sets, which is with less attack speed. And the, I, I think it's what we need. Um, attack speed is like a, a stat I think I need, to be honest. But yeah. So. Obviously, uh, something that seems weird is I'm running Thermofist, even though I got fucking killed last update. Like, I could just be running Iron, like, primary and boxing secondary, just for boxing as mobility. But truthfully, I uh, just do not want to risk it with something like brain dead as fuck. I mean, like, they're buffing. What's it called? I'm pretty sure they're buffing. Holy crap, this is blinding. They're buffing. <sighs> they're buffing Shining Cycle, if I remember correctly. And in my opinion, it does not need a buff. Like, I saw that on the dock, and I'm like, why, bro? They're, they're also buffing, like, all exotic enchants. My only problem is 
Dents doesn't really need a buff. I mean, am I gonna complain? No! They're, they're fucking buffing the downs- They're nerfing the downsides and buffing the upsides. Of course I'm not gonna complain. I will complain when I have to fight it, though. But other than that, some pretty alright changes. Like Arden, the damage is gonna be less, and I'm pretty sure the attacks are gonna be quicker. I definitely need that dense. I know the attacks will be a bit quicker. I hope they didn't buff the size. I don't think they did. But yeah. So I just needed something that wasn't brain dead. Like, I didn't run Iron Leg, even though uh, it's like Thermo is the only non brain rot fighting style right now. That's why I ran it. Right now, Thermo is actually pretty fun. I can't even lie. I really do like running Thermo with this acid build. And, like, I feel like another one of, like, just the reasons is the fact that I just simply could not continue running Mage at the rate I was doing it. Like, oh, I almost forgot. Here are my Savant stats. stats. Um, the thought process behind this was pretty, pretty damn simple. Um, so my magic, here we'll show you my spells. I'll normally go to, but I named it Heavy Balls for a damage buff. That I, I need to elaborate, that's a joke. Some people are kind of stupid. Uh, acid Explosion, blah, blah, blah. Single Leap, Single Beam. Uh, times five leap, place a self explosion, uh, angle left leap, and a placed shock wave. So, the reason why I have an angular leap is actually pretty simple. It just is kind of good for PvP. Um, what the hell? It's pretty good for PvP. And. Yeah, that's literally the only reason why. It's good for PvP and nothing else. It's pretty easy to, like, dodge an attack if you're running angular leaps. So, yeah, I, I run an angular we leap. Also, like, you can cancel your momentum sometimes if you dive right. But, yeah, it's just very good and also really flex with people because most people are used to just going directly up civil aim and you can kind of dodge attacks mid-air. So, that's nice. Uh, and yeah, another cool thing is my thermo. So my thermo, I had to use 20 on the crash for it to do 200 damage when I had 75 power. So I don't know how much it deals right now. Uh, smash, rush, single hit. I set it to multi-hit if I'm fighting a surge mage. Uh, shot is just at 80. Uh, single shock wave. And double smash. Um, iron leg 100%, 100%. Double, but 100%. So, yeah, that's a pretty easy one to go over. I run the dual swords because they're kind of just better Kai Saber. Or, well, Katana. I just call it Kai Saber. I could have said Skip of Tars and people would have understood, but you get the point. So, pretty much, I could have ran like any of those. But I just decided to not. But, um. Oh, it's a player. <laughs> Whatever. I guess I'm killing some, like, poor kid. I thought it was, like, I didn't realize that was, like, a fucking person. Jeez, I just woke up. I just missed a musket shot under the name cell. Oh my god, bro. I was like, what is this guy doing? I was so confused what that NPC was doing. But yeah, so uh, you got like a very, very poor demo of this salon. But yeah, uh, I'll throw some PvP clips on stream. But yeah, this is my salon. 12 vitality, 90 magic, 120 strength, and 50 weapons. You've seen the stat allocations. You've seen the weapons. I'll sometimes try to run that rapier. Uh, something worth remembering is this is an old weapon savant and it's a strength vaunt. Uh, some people do prefer mage vaunt. Um, I honestly don't know how do I feel about it because I like having both shot and beam. Very, very good things to pair together. But, yeah. 
The double blast is pretty helpful if you can land it. I do prefer single blast. I just realized that the double blast casts in the same speed that my old blast used to cast in. I'm pretty sure there's like no difference. Yeah, there's no there's no difference other than with the um 20 blast obviously there's a difference and probably the times three blast it's also really hard to get them to spread out obviously this is a single blast again but it's really difficult to get them to go opposite directions because they are so quickly casted like they come out as one sound but yeah uh enough yeah um i hope you guys enjoy this and i hope you guys like kind of get an idea of why i like savant so much and why i glaze it and yeah, with this said, that is about it. I will see you guys later. Peace out.